What's up YouTube, it's your boy Durky Chan. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna do a comparison of a real versus a fake pair. Before I start, which one is real, which one is fake? These look pretty similar, but there are some small nitty gritty details that determine a real and a fake one. So this shoe right now, this brand, Oni Oni Onisuka Tiger is overtaking Brooklyn. I go to Soho and everybody is rocking this shoe. I don't understand the hype. So this pair is from my cousin Donnie. Thank you, Donnie, for donating your pair. My cousin Donnie got a fake pair online. I'm not saying which site, but I'm just saying be careful. If you're buying an Onisuka Tiger and it's for $50 online brand new, you should have some flags firing off, some alarm bells firing off that this deal is too good to be true and usually it's too good to be true so this shoe all over soho so hopefully if you're buying these hopefully this helps you from getting a fake pair so on the left side is a real pair authentic as you can see al dente has the tags and everything this is the real deal check out that leather Man, these iPhone cameras aren't what they used to be, but check out that leather, man. It is pristine. This is the real deal. And on the right pair, we got a uh, not-so-real one. As you can see, I'm pressing on the leather, and there's no crumble. It's just flat. You see that? Let's do a side-by-side. -side. Look at that. Real one, when you press it on the leather, there's some wrinkle. There's some crumble. But on the fake pair, it's flat. It is flat. No crumble at all. You see, look look at these wrinkles that come when I press down on this leather. Whereas the fake one, bam, nothing, nothing, nothing. So that's tell number one right off the bat. Check the leather quality. It's pretty noticeable. The real one is nice, soft, supple, bendable. Whereas the fake one, stiff, feels like plastic. All right, we're going to start with, start with the top of the shoe and work our way back and do the side and then do the back. So let's do the uh, top first, like I said. So first things first, let's talk about the logo. That's the first thing I would check. So on the genuine pair, you got the Onisuki Taiga. And the color of the label matches the color of the shoe. This is the yellow and navy blue pair. And on the fake one, as you can see, the color of the tag is drastically different than the color of the shoe. So that's tell number one. Check the logos. Check the coloring. Check the stitching. Now, if you notice, the stitching on my real pair, very clean, very rectangular. As you check the fake pair, it's all over the place. The logo's miscut. It's... It's an extra fabric here. It's stitched weird here. Look at that. It's not even stitched evenly. Whereas the real one, look at that. Pristine stitching. They took their time to stitch this thing on. All right, next thing. Look at the logo placement. On the fake pair, look at all this space up here. On the real pair, look at that. Perfect. Almost lines up directly with that seam right there. Check it out. Look at all that space on the fake one. Fugazi. This one's Fugazi. Watch out. All right, so... Label, check, all right, check the label, all right? Check the label, check the leather, all right? So those are two things you can check right off the bat on the top of the shoe. Now, the good thing with these fake ones is that the laces are pretty similar in terms of quality. Like, they feel the same, so it'd be hard to tell a real from a fake one based off the laces. So I won't go, go look at the laces, all right? All right, next. Peep the stitching, all right? The stitching, you can't... When it comes to stitching, the stitching will tell all the truths. Look at the stitching on the real pair. Clean lines on the toe box. Clean lines around the shoe. Lace holes. Very clean. Very decisive stitching. Right? Clean. Look at There's no gaps right here. It's a clean line. Whereas the fake one, look at that big gap right there. Look at that toe box. Slanted stitching, messy stitching, doesn't even reach the end. Messy, messy stitching. Peep the side, peep the side, look at that. Look at that huge gap between this sawtooth edge and the stitch versus the real pair. Look at that clean, narrow stitching. Whereas this one, look at that gap right there. Look at that gap right there. That's a big tell. All right, moving on. Look at the collar of the shoe. Look at the collar of the shoe. The real pair, clean, narrow, neat, very uniform. Look, 
this the size of this is the same all throughout whereas the fake one it goes from skinny to large it's just all over the place it is all over the place it's not one swoosh smooth size right here with this stitching look at this look at the real one even look at this whereas the fake one it's just all over the place it's all over the place it's too wide it's too wide it's absolutely too wide all right let's move on to the back of the shoe oh hold up now the suede now the fake one the suede on the toe box is pretty close it feels the same you know it's it, there's like a smidge of difference between the two suede so don't go off just the suede but look at that look at the glue stains on the fake one the real one ain't no glue stains on this one it's perfection it's made in japan perfection you know they love they love to per perfect stuff in japan over there look at that look at that this pair doesn't have any glue stains oh wait look at this glue stains right there so watch out for the glue stains people the glue stains will tell you the truth all right, let's move to the back of the shoe. Now, the back of the shoe, you can tell immediately the difference in suede. I can't believe my cousin Donnie got fooled by a fake one. Donnie, what's wrong with you? How you get fooled by a fake one, Donnie? Come on. All right, this is the biggest tell for me. I would say the suede on the real pair on this back label, very fuzzy. Look at the look at the hairs of that suede. Let me let me focus my Apple camera. Man, these Apple cameras are fugazi. All right, look, look at that suede quality. Very supple, very, you can feel that, right? Look at the fake one. It looks like cardboard. Donnie, I can't believe, Donnie, how did you get a bad pair, Donnie? Oh my, look at that. That's a number one tell. Look at the suede. There is no suede texture whatsoever. This thing is flat. And look at the tag. Even the tag doesn't stay down. It stays floppy. Donnie, you got bamboozled, Donnie. Just submit it, Donnie. The real pair, this flap is super malleable. You could bend it inwards, you could bend it out, it just moves. But this fake one, yeah, that's not moving. That's not moving, unless you wear it like 50 times, it'll move. So watch out for that. Number one, number one tail, look at the suede. All right, number two, look at the back. This cross mark is very misaligned on the fake pair. Perfect V texture down here, whereas the fake pair it's kind of lopsided up here in that V. Peep that. And the suede quality, it looks the same down here. So that's that's kind of hard to tell. But peep that top triangle. You want a clean top triangle. All right, let me do the same pair so y'all can see. Check the leather quality. You want that crumble. Fake one, ain't got no crumble to it. Ain't got no crumble. And let's see, bottom of the shoe, look at that color difference. You know, it's kind of hard to tell, but if you're getting the yellow pair, you want a dark mustard color. But if you look at the whole shoe all together in terms of the color, if you look at the color, the sole is darker than, than the top. Whereas the fake one, it's lighter than the top. You see, this yellow is a little bit lighter than this, whereas the real pair is darker. All right, but that's pretty much it, y'all. Watch out for these fake pairs. They're all over the internet. Make sure you get a legit pair. Always check the tags. Always check the suede. Always get a picture of this back tab. It needs to be fuzzy, I'm telling you. And then, and inspect a pair for glue stains. A real pair won't have this many glue stains. Look at this fake pair. You got a glue stain right there on the toe box. And on the other pair, it got another glue stain on the inside of the toe box. Now, this fake pair is pretty close. Like, if, if you were just wearing this down the street, like, you know, it'd be hard to tell if this is real or fake. Because people can't tell. But if you're paying real money and you're getting a fake one, you know, you got to protect yourself and make sure you double check the fine details. That's all I have, guys. Ciao.